Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. It's Morgan coming to you live from the base camp Montrose up here uh, on Old Rider Trail. That's right, the address is Old Rider Trail. That's pretty awesome. Uh, for the Gospel of Two Wheels, number 32, if you can believe that. Uh, we've been doing this uh, 32 times. I can't believe it. Garrett Anderson, what's happening? First one in. Garrett, you win a high five. McEwen, you get a knuckle f uh, fist bump. Cole Carmichael, what's going down? Um, yeah, like I said, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the Fly Formula helmet and Liat goggles, but we're gonna do a uh, walkthrough of the base camp also. So we'll start with that. Um, so we are Matt Simpson. What's happening? We are currently. Uh, 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes from the dead middle of town. Clinton Bowers, what's going on? Um, and uh, it feels like we're out in the middle of nowhere, and I love it. The um, uh, My wife is sending me a text <laughs> remind, rem reminding me to get Thomas's gear because we're riding tonight. Um, so, yeah, let's just take a – we won't go around the whole property because it's kind of big. But, hey, there's the van. So, right over here, that's going to be the wash bay. We don't actually have the pressure washer up here because we need to put electricity over there. We thought we had it, but anyway, that's coming. Eric Cancer, what's going on? Um, it's a lovely place to be up here, um, out in the hills. So Dry Creek is like uh, that way, uh, about two miles of pavement then to dirt. And then the plateau is, well, depending on which way you go, it's, it's either seven minutes-ish on a motorcycle, seven to 10 uh, to single track, or you can go a little further, more like 15 minutes up the road uh, to other single tracks. So um, super rad place. Um, man, is it a beautiful freaking day today. Holy moly. So yeah, let's uh, go on in to the bigger house and check it out. That's a bad shot. There we go. So, uh, one cool zone here, I believe, is the fire pit. Brap, right there. Uh, so if you're gonna stay here, bring firewood. We don't supply it mainly because I think if we did, it would just all get burned in the first time because we're dirt bikers after all. So yeah, fire pit, cool hangout zone. <coughs> uh, barbecue, grill, and patio with awesome furniture. Do, 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 do. Super cool. All right. Let's go on in y'all to the big house. So as you come in, kitchen. We are still working on remodeling this kitchen. That's why the colors are so uh, not attractive. Um, but it's fully functional, so that's the important part, right? <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, kitchen. Another super cool table where you'll find things waiting for you just in case you need them. Richard Dawson, what's happening? All right, so here is the big hangout living room, which is uh, super, super cool. Um, at least I think so. We did all this wood, all the barn wood <coughs> came from the property. Uh, Sean and I, Sean is my partner, by the way. Uh, and if you guys pay Palace, you'll see that the money goes to a guy named Sean Turnbow. He's my partner in this deal. Um, he's got the bank account. So anyway, that's where that goes, just so you know. Um, so yeah. Hangout zone, cool table, maps and stickers and stuff on it of the area. Um, nice couches and whatnot. 4K TV for if it's raining or uh, whatever. Hooked up to the internet. We got good high speed internet out here. So if you're out here and you need to do some work or whatever, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope you just ride dirt bikes. But if you did, good uh, connectivity, maps, Cool table. Uh, one of the four bedrooms right there. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, beds, nothing super fancy. Nate's got what's happening. Um, but that's why we're trying to keep the price down so everybody comes. Tom Chamberlain, what's going on? Other bedroom, two beds, bathroom. All right, so roll on in here. And let's head this way. Another bedroom. And then 
bathroom. And this is the bedroom we need to keep working on some remodel with trim and paint is not quite done. But queen bed. Uh, I think we're gonna get another queen bed in one of the other bedrooms because we have two families or couples or whatever. Laundry, which is awesome. Soap provided so you can wash your gear. Please don't like super gnarly uh, and you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, and then one of what I believe is the coolest parts of this house is if you're staying here, you've got full access to this garage to work on bikes, put your bikes in at night, whatever you want to do. That table is going down to the smaller house. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's the base camp. We are, I'm working on the guide that's gonna be here waiting for you guys. Uh, it's actually almost done. But we are more or less, uh, like I said, two miles from dirt to ride Dry Creek. And then uh, six miles to Lower Spring Creek Trail to get onto the plateau. Peach Valley is about 25, 30 minutes away. It's, it's like, 17 or 19 miles, but it's kind of twisty roads. So that's more of a trailer kind of thing, but still it's really close. Um, we're on the Rim Rocker Trail, so you can just ride straight to Moab from here um, without a license, which is awesome. You do have to have an OHV and insurance on the bike, uh, officially. So well, I guess that's not, it's actually officially, but you have to have it to do it. So um, yeah. There it is. That is the base camp. And now we need to talk about helmets and goggles. First of all, how's everybody doing? No one's making, I, I don't know if anybody's making comments. Let me see. I don't know. I'm only, just so you know, if you're making comments, I'm only getting, I'm only seeing people pop up. Let me see. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Uh, dang. Someone sent me a comment. I don't know if something's not working. If it's not, I apologize. Um, I had this happen once before, so I don't know what is going on there. I'm going to set the phone down and maybe that'll fix it. I don't know. But, um, so actually I'm going to turn the phone around once. Drop. So there's everything, now I'm gonna turn it back around. I don't know. So if you guys are making comments, I apologize for not getting to them right now um, because something's wrong with the internet. I don't know. Well, it's not the internet, it's Facebook probably. So leave your comments. I will answer them after this is all over when I get online. Super sorry about not being able to do that, I don't know. Keep, yeah, like I said, keep going with the comments, keep sending them to me. I will get to all of them, I promise, uh, after this is all over. So, the Fly Formula Helmet, the probably like the most uh, media blown up helmet I've ever seen, is for, in, the, in recent times at least, with the, you know, they've sponsored Supercross, so they're on every Supercross race. Tori Anderson, what's happening? I do see, like, I see the green things popping up, but I don't see comments, and I'm sure you guys are all commenting, giving me a hard time on how goofy I look. Carrie Noonan Endo, what is happening? One of my favorite people. Uh, um, so, yeah, sorry about the comments thing. I don't know what's going on. Um, I could try to stop this and do it again, but I don't want to lose you guys. So, anyway, fly formula helmet right here. Super, super cool helmet. It, um, like I said, it's been going crazy on the internets and on um, mainstream media, not just social media, uh, because Fly is spending a lot of money to advertise it, honestly. Um, but this is the first helmet I've been really excited about since I moved to Arai Helmets back in, yeah, I don't know, a long time ago, like six helmets ago. So this thing is amazing so my rep came in showed it to me said you gotta check this thing out and i kind of said like most reps bring me a helmet i'm like eh, 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 whatever if it's not an awry i don't want it i just want the safest thing i don't really care about graphics i don't care about 
shapes, pointy thing, whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> he's like, no, no, no. So he threw it to me actually. And the first thing I noticed was how crazy light this is. Um, it's so light that you almost like have to like hold it down, <laughs> keep it from floating away. Um, Jeremy Shoning, what's happening? <clears throat> if you guys are joining, I'm not seeing comments. Just leave your comments. I'm going to get back to answer all of them. Um, unless of course they're <laughs> well, some, like some of the comments I probably won't answer. John Bowman, what's up? Um, but I will, I swear if you've got questions about this helmet, about base camp, about the goggle, whatever, just please leave them. I will get to them. So this helmet weighs, give or take, 2.8 pounds. And I say give or take because different sizes mean, you know, different weight. Um, they have five shells. Like, that's huge. So one of the big things about helmets and helmet companies is a lot of them, they only make, you know, one or two shells sizes, and then they fill it with foam to make up for head sizes. And that does not equal a super-duper safe helmet. Uh, Fly has five different shell sizes uh, for this thing. Um, so it's... It's going to fit really, really, really well. Um, Nate Scott, I just see a Facebook. This is, ah, I can't believe I can't see the things. Anyway, um, so 2.8 pounds. The shell, all carbon fiber. You can kind of see the cool weave there. The carbon that they're using and the weave that they're using is a lot more um, durable than normal, I guess, carbon fiber. Um, carbon, I do know, is uh, relatively... Uh, brittle and if hit the wrong way can break and that's kind of one reason I've stayed away from carbon uh, When it comes to helmets for a long time. That's why a rye stays away from it <coughs> This weave This resin this carbon Craig Hernke Roy Moline. Thanks for joining. I not I don't see any um, Comments, so I apologize um, I can't answer things. It's not as cool as being normally live I, It's a frustrating, but I am gonna answer them all um, but the, uh, so yeah, this carbon, a little, definitely more flexible, more durable than normal carbon, not as brittle. I look, I tested it, <laughs> unfortunately. Javier, what's happening? Um, I don't, like, I, yeah, I went over the bars. <laughs> uh, trying to do this gnarly rocky thing uh, downhill and it didn't work out, so I scratched my brand new shiny helmet. Um, so yeah, carbon shell. The EPS foam, which every helmet has EPS foam in it. Um, some have just that. Some have it separated by little elastomers. Some have different things like that. The EPS foam inside this thing is what they call, they're using this cone head technology. Um, I don't have pictures or anything like that because you guys can all Google this stuff. I'm just giving you my opinions on it. Um, from a guy who had to pay for the helmet. I had to pay for I did not pay full retail, of course. What's up, William? Um... But uh, I did have to pay for this. They didn't give me this. This isn't sponsored. Um, it costs lots of money. So uh, full retail, six forty nine ninety nine. dollars um, Right now, if you order one from me, and it's like a lot of them are back ordered because they're so popular already. But if you order one from me, super duper special deal. I promise it will be worth it. Um, but I can't advertise that. They're, they tell me that I can't tell you what kind of deal I'm going to give you. So... Um, if you want to order one from me, send me a message, call the shop, whatever, get a hold of me. We've already sold a few, um, like that, but yeah, um, they're, anyway, they're awesome. So, uh, so I've gone over the foam cone head technology. Like I said, it's, it's about mushing and not hurting your brain. I don't know. Anyway, um, the coolest stuff in it though is this, uh, I'm going to tear my helmet apart. Uh. There we go. This Rion stuff. I don't know if you can see that. See those little blue things in there? Okay. So those little blue things are a substance called Rion. And the way it was described to me, again, this is described to me, I haven't done a ton of research, is that it is, um, it's a material that they're using in military uh, vehicles such as Humvees that are, um, they're wanting to be blast proof from IEDs over in the, the desert. Um, so it's this, it's blue, this is the blue stuff. And basically it's kind of like a non-Newtonian fluid. It like, it moves when you push on it kind of slowly, it moves pretty easily, but then you try to mash it and it slows down like suspension. Um, it is their answer to the MIPS and the Liat and the 6D and all those other things that use those elastomers and 
different stuff. It's, uh, it's, it's Fly's version of that for uh, brain protection. Um, I personally like it better than the Elastomer style. The Elastomer style, like on 60s and Leots, is very good. It's definitely better than um, a lot. Michael Smith, Jason McGowan, McGovern, sorry, I can't read that. Um, thanks for joining. I'm not seeing comments, so I'm super duper sorry about that, Brian Duvall. Um, leave your comments, leave your questions. I will answer every one of them, I promise, unless they're inappropriate. And actually, I'll probably answer those too. Um, <laughs> because that's the fun of this. I hope you guys can see all the comments and you guys are back and forth giving each other a hard time. Anyway, the Rion stuff, that's the stuff that keeps your brain from getting hurt when you crash. So, um, Reamer, what's happening, dude? I can't see the comments. Jason Reamer, Willie Watts. Jason Reem is my fly rep. Ask the questions, he might be able to answer questions. So, um, hopefully, Jason, you can uh, help out. I don't know why I don't see the comments coming up. It's really super frustrating on my end. Um, ah, I failed. Anyway, uh, the Rion is, like I said, it's like shock absorption for your brain. It slows things down. Justin Monroe just ordered a helmet from us. Um, so uh, that's their like new safety thing. Um, I just had a guy come in and talk to me about the Climb one. He's not a Climb rep, just a guy who bought one. Uh, they've got a really new, cool thing. Farnham, what's happening? Uh, that's supposed to protect your brain. Like, honestly, I like all of this stuff. All of this stuff that's trying to keep our brains uh, healthier is awesome. And it's all better than it was 30 years ago, 25 years ago. So um, I'm choosing this version of it because I think this is the best. Um, I'm not a doctor nor a scientist of any kind. Um, but what I've seen, what I've looked at, this does seem uh, like the safest setup out there to me. Um, but like I said, just caveat, just know that that's just my opinion um, from the stuff I've looked at on the internet and things I've read about and having been an awry wearer forever and ever and ever. Um, so yeah, uh, visor, super cool. It's uh, super flexy. Um, it's vinyl. So when you hit the ground, and I, yeah, you heard me right. I said when you hit the ground, um, <laughs> it will flex instead of twist your head off and it will do that and pop off the uh, but unlike the like magnetic style this is actually adjustable up and down but see that comes out and all you got to do to put it back in is put that guy like that back in because it's cupped or like cone shaped. If you look at that, you can kind of see that's cone shaped and the visor's got the op, you know, the matching uh, profile. And so yeah, it can pop off. You put this back on, you're good to go. Um, uh, of course it could, um, you can still ruin a visor, you can break it, but um, it's a lot harder than on most helmets. Helmet comes with two paint match visors, which is awesome. Uh, so if you do ruin one, you get another one. Um, like I said, one of my favorite things is the fact that you can actually adjust this, unlike the magnetic ones. I like the magnetic idea a lot about it just coming off so you don't it doesn't twist your head or break your neck or something like that. But um, I like this better because it allows me to move it up and down depending on the sun or roost or whatever. Um, also, unlike the arrow things and all that, it's got a flat spot for your camera mount. And the flat spot up on top, if that's where you run it, right there in the middle. Fly didn't have that for a while. I know that has nothing to do with safety, but if you're like me, you like shooting videos, it's kind of important. So, um, yeah, six forty nine ninety nine Highland Cycle special deal. If you call me or shoot me a message, I will uh, make you a great deal on a helmet. Um, I want you to wear this. I want you to be safe. I want you to keep riding your dirt bikes. So, get a good helmet. Um, if you don't have 650 bucks for a helmet, I completely understand that. That's, I get it, that's a ton of money for a helmet. You know, you could go on and on about, well, what's your head worth, blah, I, blah, blah, all that stuff, right? I get it, $650 is a lot of money for a helmet. So if you can't afford that, then just get a good helmet. Get the best helmet you can afford, all right? So, 
If it's gonna break the bank, you're not gonna be able to pay your mortgage because you spent $650 on a helmet, then don't do it. Like you gotta have a house to live in. But buy the best helmet you can. If you can afford this helmet, if $650 doesn't scare you away, I 100% back this helmet. Again, that is not a paid sponsorship. I bought this helmet. I took a risk on spending a lot of my own money on this lid. Um, not knowing how it was going to be, not how, how it was going to breathe, all that stuff. I absolutely love it. I really, really hope I don't ever have to test the high impact um, part of it. But knowing me and my ability to ride a dirt bike, which is not very good, it's probably going to happen. Um, but it does breathe really well. Speaking of that, um, it's uh, lots of vents, I, yeah, whatever. lots of vents, crazy light. Super duper safe, lots of technology in this thing. Um, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, 100%. Oh, and by the way, it fits so good. I think that Rion stuff, those little blue thingies in there, blue thingies, if you can see them. I know that's not great quality. Anyway, uh, Roger heard what's happening. Roger knows all about helmets and wearing good ones. Um, like I said, if you're just joining me, I can't see the comments. I don't know why they're not popping up on my phone. I feel like Jimmy Lewis. <laughs> uh, I can't, uh, oh look, there. Um, I can't see, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why the comments aren't coming up. So I'm gonna answer them all, I promise. Promise, promise, promise. I will answer all of them after this show. So, <clears throat> um, carbon shell, super light. Really good EPS foam cone head technology, which is a funny thing that they chose that name. But anyway, Rion little patches for your brain. Um, cool uh, vinyl visor that pops off real easily, but also is adjustable and goes back on really easily. Um, uh, breathes really well and it's real good looking. Real, real good looking. So um, I like they got away from all the pointy stuff. I don't like the pointy stuff on helmets because it wants to grab your head and twist your neck and stuff like that. So um, it's an awesome helmet. Looks damn good. Excuse my language, but I like it. Boom. There we go. Ask all the questions you want. I can't see them, so I will get to them later. Uh, the other thing I have been testing and thoroughly enjoying, the brandy spanky new Liat Velocity 6.5. Anthony Martinez, what's going on? I can't see your comment, so leave it here and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> uh, um, Velocity 6.5 goggle uh, is awesome. It's so quick backstory. Liat, um, we're a dealer, and they've been contacting me now for a few weeks. Oh, you gotta buy some goggles. You gotta buy some goggles. You gotta buy. Anyway, whiny, whiny little rep people. No offense if you're watching, Jennifer. Um, actually, you're an awesome rep. I really appreciate it. Um, but whatever they're trying to sell me stuff it's springtime motorcycle world they're trying to sell stuff i'm a hundred percent guy i'm like yeah yeah anyway they kept sending me information kept asking me to buy some and i said well i don't know and then we had another order to make from leah i said you know what fine throw one in throw a set in this set right here <clears throat> and i'll check them out but i'm not gonna try to i'm not gonna buy 12 of them and try to sell them to my customers unless i believe in them <clears throat> You got to know that about me. Like, I'm not in this business for the money. I don't think <laughs> anybody is because if we were, we'd do something else for a living. But I'm in this business because I freaking love dirt bikes so much. And I want people to out having fun riding dirt bikes. Um, so I won't just sell things just to sell them because you make good money. The other thing is these are expensive. They're 80 bucks, $79.99. And I thought, God, man, it's going to be tough to sell to my customers because that's a lot of money. Um, well, they sent me a pair. I said, I'll try them out. Um, again, I paid for them. Leah did not give me these. These are bought and paid for by Morgan. Um, and I checked them out. They're freaking awesome. So they call them bulletproof. They really are actually bulletproof. They're shooting them with a 22 out of a pistol. Probably a light load. It's not a 22 long rifle. It's definitely not a, you know, some, I don't know guns that well. But anyway, it's a light load out of a pistol, but it does stop it. <laughs> so anything coming off the back of a motorcycle is going to stop if it hits this. Um, hey, Josh Butson, what's happening? Um, again, if you're just joining us, I can't see the comments. Leave the comments. Leave your questions. I'll answer them later. I don't know why it's not working. Um, 
So that's cool, right? Uh, they touted this anti-fog thing, and I was like, ah, what anti-fog? What the, I mean, is it some coding? Like, that crap never works. Around here, fog is a real problem because it's cool and chilly in the mornings, especially springtime now, or like way up high in the mountains, and fog happens, especially when you're breathing hard like me, because you're out of shape and fat and old. And you're like, <laughs> and so um, I like dual pane goggles because they don't fog, at least for me. And they show up and sure enough, every lens that comes in every goggle is dual pane. I thought they just had some hokey pokey like coating on them, but no, 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 no. It's actually a dual pane lens. Other cool thing is how the lens change. I'm gonna do it because um, you guys, it, it's not quite as easy as they say. So I gotta tear off, because I like running tear off to protect my lenses. Um, but to get them apart, you go like this, and like this, and this is the part that I kinda got me before. There we go. You go like that, boom, lens out there it is super cool so you can see the the dual painness of it this little squishy thing in here um this is their tinted lens uh it's just a kind of a gray tint um it's actually really nice it's not too dark which i like um but yeah so lenses come out you can clean things you can actually disassemble the uh there we go this, let's just peel them all the way apart. What, what, what's it gonna hurt? So you can take this out, take this out, wash it, throw that in the dishwasher. Not dishwasher, clothes washer. I guess you probably put it in the dishwasher too. Anyway, um, wash the foam, super cool. Again, if you're just joining, I'm super sorry, I can't see the comments. I'm sure you guys have some hilarious comments and some, um, Questions that I would love to answer and will answer later, but again, I'm sorry. If you've been watching this whole time, I'm really sorry that I keep saying that, but new guys are joining. So yeah, that's it, man. That's the Liat uh, uh, Velocity uh, 6.5, 6.5 Velocity, whichever way it goes. Uh, goggle, $79.99. I really, I really like it, man. Um, like I said, I've been a 100% guy forever. Um, yeah, I'm down, man. I, I really, I think these are phenomenal goggles. Uh, so far, they've been really tough. Um, lenses are holding up well. Uh, I, I run a tear-off just to protect them, um, even trail riding. Zach Parsons, Matt Sinclair, what's happening? Um, Jim Wells, what's happening? Um, so, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of these goggles. Uh, another cool thing, one of the things I love about 100% is that all their lenses fit all their frames. Same thing with these guys. All their frames take one style lens. So no matter where you go, if they have lit lenses, it's going to fit your lit goggles. So if you're in Nevada or California or Oklahoma or Rhode Island and they have lit goggles and lit lenses, you can get, um, you can get lenses for them. So... Uh, I love that about 100%. I love that about these. I still really love 100%. I have two or three pairs still. I'm going to keep wearing them. I really like them a lot. I just like these a ton. Um, and the nice big field of vision. Uh, so they don't fit over all glasses for sure, but they definitely fit over some glasses because I actually just sold a set uh, yesterday to... Um, uh, a lady who came in and tried them on over her glasses and she was stoked because they actually fit. So there you go. Um, that's a thing. Uh, so yeah, foam comes out easy. Lens comes out easy. Um, there you go. What else do you need to know? Um, so yeah, there it is. I uh, am super bummed that I can't see your guys' uh, questions. Um, I'm going to sign off here in just a second so I can get to answering all those questions. Um, yeah, I bummed out that that, I don't know what part of Facebook didn't work right there, but it didn't. So, um, yeah, tonight, Thursday Night Ride, here's, we'll go run through the news, and now I won't get distracted. <laughs> run through the news. Tonight, Thursday Night Ride is a kid's ride. Um, my boys are leading it, so my 12-year-old will be 
I gave him the reins, and he's like, I got a good plan, Dad. It's going to be mellow. Um, he's, he's not way into the rocks and stuff like that. So uh, that kid is going to take us all on an awesome ride. Um, so join us if you either have children or if you don't want to go <laughs> slam your body through gnarly stuff like sometimes we do. Um, so that's tonight. Uh, this weekend, hey, Brian Aliff, what's happening? Make all the comments you want about... Um, Brady's mom, I can't see them. So, um, uh, this weekend, the Highland Cycles boys are going racing. Well, me and my younger son are going racing um, at the Corks race over in Florence, Colorado. So, if you're there, come say hi. Uh, not going to have any big setup. Just going to be my van and a couple bikes. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go racing. My little guy is going to be racing 65s. I'm going to race the 450 Stella from the rental fleet because I haven't raced a 450 in, like, 11 years, uh, so it should be hilarious to watch. <laughs> um, yeah, like, oh my gosh, I'm probably, you know, whatever. So that's gonna be awesome, I'm stoked because I love racing and I don't care if I get dead last. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Um, so that's what we're doing this weekend. Shop will be open. Uh, Zach and um, Cam will be there rocking and rolling. Base camp is starting to fill up pretty fast, guys. Uh, we got guys coming in tonight, John Kennedy, Tom Dillon, can't wait to see you guys uh, for the whole weekend. We got people booking in July. We've already got some bookings in October. So um, if you want to book this place, which is where I'm sitting, I, I would love it. I would appreciate it very much. If you wanted to come to Montrose and hang out and ride our amazing terrain, I would love it if you stayed with us. Um, I think it's a reasonable price. I think it's the best place. Um, so yeah, I would, that would be awesome if you stayed with us. If not, that's fine too. Just come say hi at the shop. Shoot me a message. I'd love to go ride with you. I'd love to show you around the area. Um, I've been all over the country and parts of the world on motorcycles and doing other things. And honestly, Dan Malone, the mailman, what's happening? Um, I really do truly believe that Montrose is like the best hub. Um, because we're in the middle, the geographic center of awesomeness for dirt bikes um, and dual sport bikes. So, yeah, guys, uh, thanks again. Sorry about the comment thing. I'm going to answer those right now. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys spread the gospel of two wheels, and I hope you spread peace and love and joy and all the awesomenesses about this world because there are so very many. And, yeah, if you like this thing, share it all that stuff, you know what we do. And I hope down deep from my tiny black little soul that you get out and ride your dirt.